it is so busy down there. Look at that, all those cars. So we're on the main road, one of the main roads. Um, we're going to be going back up into the mountains in a minute. We're heading for a supermarket. So, um, and they're near the coast. They don't seem to have big supermarkets inland. Um, but we're amazed and impressed by the roads here. Now, there's hardly anybody on this road, the odd one or two, three cars going past, whatever. But it is a main road, and we are impressed with the condition of the road in Spain and also France. Beautiful views. Oh, it's standing up here. 843. 905. <laughs> that didn't sound like an auctioneer. 917. The hill over there. Over there. Yeah. 900, 933. It's like Christmas. Oh, 1964. 68, oh, we're going up again, yeah. Oh. We're going to do it. We're like a couple of kids. 1,067. One thousand and sixty-five. Are we going up anymore? <laughs> <laughs> 1183. 1183. Going once. 1183. Going twice. 1183. There it is. Right up there. So it's only seven minutes away, but that looks further away than that, doesn't it? It does. Oh my god, that's the closest place, isn't it? That is. Forensic. Oh, look at that. We are here. We survived the bend. Look at that. Just amazing. Keep light, 400 meters. Yeah. I can assure you I do not like being a passenger on this road. I would rather be driving. Being a passenger <laughs> because lorries are hacking around here, it's ridiculous. And their wheels are over on your side, and we can't go much further over because it's a massive drop, which I can't even show you. Can you see it? Well, I'm trying to put it. Can you just keep your eyes on the road? <laughs> it's not a very big one. <laughs> but the thing is, we've got to come back up this way tomorrow if we want to spend Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, at that old medieval village town. Let me look at that. Clever. What a work on is that. Look at 
it now joins the new row. Which is a tad wider. Lots of orange trees being cultivated there. Now drive back to Morello, where we want to spend Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So we're going to try and see if we can stay there for three days um, and just then go for a hike, maybe a cycle ride um, for those couple of days. So we're now driving back. It is a bit hair raising because um, the mountain roads do get very, very windy and it's quite high. Uh, we got to 1,190 metres above sea level, so we're winding our way back up there now. This is nothing for what's to come, and I will be clenching my bottom cheek, believe me. Um, I will video, not my bottom cheek, of course, but <laughs> Morella, we are here. We survived the bend. Look at that, it's just amazing, and hopefully we're going to spend three nights here, if the air is really, really good, and we like it, so that is amazing. There we go. Right down there. Turn right, down then your there. destination will be on the left. That's a bit of a swing round, isn't it? I think I'm going to say that's right. No. There's a few motos down there already. Is there? Yeah. Oh, boy. Thought I'd just video our fridge. And what we've got stacked in there. Absolutely jam-packed with lots and lots of food. We've got two chickens, we've got sirloin steak, we've got fillet steak, ham, bacon, cheeses, pâtés, vegetables or salads, homemade hummus that Mark's done. Lovely, lovely. Loads of prawns in there, big packet of prawns. Who says you can't eat healthily in a motorhome? Look at that. But I've got more in there than I had in my fridge at home, in a house. Can't wait to start noshing away. So this is the air that we spent last night in. And we're going to spend tonight and tomorrow night. So Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This is the view that we've got over the um, medieval, the old medieval town there. And it looked beautiful last night, all lit up. And there's an old fire duck or something there. there. If they're going to stay, if not, and nobody turns up later on, we're going to be here on our own for Christmas, I think. Look at that stunning view. So we're just going to walk into there now, find a route, and walk in. But again, another free air. Um, fresh water over there, grey and black waste. No electricity, but um, we've got our own solar panels and inverter and that, so hopefully we'll be all good. Hello. Oopsie, I can't. Hello. 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 H
something um, exciting about seeing um, wild animals just roaming free and you weren't expecting it so we're heading up to there and it's 984 meters above sea level and crowned by an impressive impenetrable castle standing on a high rock it's the capital of port the town has an important series of monuments and secular traditions, customs and festivities that are a great attraction to visitors. It is surrounded by two kilometres of walls with seven gateways and ten towers and numerous unique buildings, winding streets and truly exceptional temples. The information board here states, a religious building also known as the Chapel of St. Lucia or Dale's Arks, as it lies under a medieval aqueduct. It stands outside the town of Morella and has been declared an asset of local relevance. Towards the late 13th century, a decision was made to build a chapel and a hospital to attend leprosy patients, also called Kegots. In 1289, the hospital and chapel were complete and their bylaws were approved in 1291. The building was extended and decorated in the Baroque style in the 18th century. One curious detail regarding this chapel is that Brother Gillum Gola was murdered on the 27th of April 1353. What's that Russian? Here's a brain teaser. This is quite steep drive down to the garage and we're just working out how would you get down and turn into the garage or when you're in the garage come out turn to come back out very steep in this wonderful place on concrete pillars This is a really impressive church. And hopefully we can go inside. This was what? Oh, this was a convent, not a ball ring. Not a ball ring. Oh, I beg your pardon. There is a ball ring around here somewhere. Trees around it. It's a beautiful building. Look at the view. Why did you tell me you were six foot four? frozen to the spot. How are you old boy? Okay. <laughs> Actually, you look like my old Uncle George. So the plaque here next to the um, statue reads to Julian Garcia Gisbert, one of the forerunners of the Morella textile industry, and to all the people who made the Morella blanket known beyond the borders of our country 
a sculpture financed anonymously and erected in his memory. Isn't that lovely? I've never heard of the uh, Morella blanket. So um, I'm going to look out for that and I might even purchase one. This is the blanket that I bought from Morella. The Morella blanket, which is famous um, all around the world apparently, which I will be explaining um, on another video. I will show you the shawl also I bought. A woman needs a shawl. Here is my lovely Morella shawl. My shoulders in those cooler evenings. As well, it's beautiful and soft. Are we just going to say bye bye to Marilla? Have the window there. We've enjoyed looking at you over Christmas. Lovely. See you all soon.